554. My name is Ram Maguko. If you've just joined us, we are continuing with our conversation today on politics. Joining me this morning is uh, Robert Osoro, who we've had since morning. We did the newspaper re review with him. He is a political analyst and a psychological counselor. Uh, now, joining us on set is Edgar Williams Koske. Political analyst. Karibu sana, Edgar. Uh, Happy new month. Happy eh? new year. <laughs> it's been <laughs> a very long time. Very long time. <laughs> Umesema tulirona how many months ago? What? L -l Last year. When there was corona. <laughs> when, there, when we were still in the bigger, in the, the, the other set. Corona part one. Yes. But thanks for coming, man. Thank you, yeah. thank you. You've forgotten to mention that also other people watching. There are also other people watching. Yes, I yes, uh, yes. Uh, my, my uncle I'm, is there watching. I'm aware from the DCI headquarters. It comes like a real salam. He's watching from where? He's from the DCI headquarters. Wow. So he's watching whether we are doing things uh, the right way. Was it to shoot your brother? <laughs> <laughs> you, you might find yourself... Uh, <laughs> uh, we are polite. We are very polite. You are polite. Me, me. I am polite. Yes. yes. <laughs> if you say something, Kiboko. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm also aware that you, you have people that are also watching. Uh, you know, it's good, Zana. Yeah, so I'm listening to the Sagana. On, uh, during the weekend, the president met thousands of delegates at the Sagana State Lodge in Nyeri, where leaders from Mount Kenya region voiced their unanimous reviews in regards to this. Some, m most of them saying that they support the BBI, saying that, uh, uh, you know, they are together with the president. Now, the president says that what the country needs is a constitutional change. Now, this is the second time that we are having these meetings in, in uh, Sagana. Uh, let me start with you, Edgar. Yes. What, what do you make of the whole meeting that took place in Sagana together with the political proclamations that were made I, I, I don't know whether to be very polite or whether to be very direct or to be very uh, or, or to weigh things or to say them in a nice manner mm. but there is no there is no way of saying things in the other way around that um, we have to say things the way as it is are. that was a tribal meeting in Sagana it was a Kikuyu meeting why do you say so they should have used kikuyu dialect to address each other and i think at some point they were using kikuyu no but he was going to meet people from his own region and people from from, from his own region are predominantly when you elected the president of the republic of kenya your region is kenya you do not go down to tribal uh tribal cocoons what is he teaching us we, the leaders, we, the young leaders of 254, what are we learning from a president? Yeah. There are even people watching right now who cannot speak Ikuyu, who cannot speak Kalenjin or Luo. They were born in Nairobi. What are you telling them? But what's the problem with him having a meeting in Sagana? There's a tribeless nation coming. There's a tribeless nation Come on, coming Edgar, in Edgar, Edgar, Edgar when, when we have a meeting in Sagana, he's in Sagana a place so like no mad. Other. It is Sagana State Lodge. State. Ramaguko State. And this is a state media. Oh, sir, do you agree with it? Uh, I don't agree because uh, I, I think that was a family meeting. So, uh, as much as uh, is talking about that was tripo. Of course, it was a family meeting because he had already said it's a Mount Kenya meeting. Mm. So, what's, what was the problem with that? You know, there is some uh, public things and there's some family things. Like that was a family thing. So, they could decide to speak Kikuyu, speak Swahili, English, any other language because that was home. Mm. Yeah. I think he called his home ground so that they can share ideas. That's what he was doing. And, uh, and if it is a, a state lodge, regardless of the venue, it is the people that were called from that region thereby meaning that he had an interest with those same people so saying that it is it is a tribal meeting how, how does that you know pan out for you that it is a tribal from meeting from a, a specific group of people considering that he is a president of a whole nation i i, I think the reason why i'm saying that this is not tribal mm. it is a family meeting it is because uh, you see you, as a father, you can decide where to meet your people. You can meet them in your house. You can take them for uh, uh, 
uh, somewhere or outside your house or uh, you look for somewhere, maybe Mombasa or else, elsewhere else. But the meeting, the, the meaning of the meeting or the agenda does not change because you are out of your home. Okay. Yeah. Edgar, what, do you, what is your reaction to that? Uh, well, well um, sometimes it is hard to defend the government. As you can see, he cannot defend the <laughs> government very well. <laughs> sometimes there are things that are done and you try to defend the president and you cannot defend the president. First and foremost, there was bribery that took place on air. Every MCA was given a two million shillings grant using your taxes. Your taxes. Do you pay taxes, Osoro? Uh, why do you I call do. it bribery? Yes, yes, why he do does. It? That is not bribery. That Man... Ramaguko. What substantiates your claim that it is bribery? Ram, you don't have an opinion here. You are a host. <laughs> uh, I, I'm asking you the question. What yes. substantiates the opinion that it is a bribery? Pass the BBI, I give you two million shillings. In a state lodge. If the BBI was good for Kenya, then we will not be exchanging it with money. <laughs> now, what are the MPs being given? We are not being told. Maybe they are being given close, someone said close to 7 million shillings. But what am I being given? What are you being given, Ram, for, to, pass, to pass that document? The declaration in a state, in a public, um, in a public utility, a declaration to pay people 2 million shillings to pass a document that is unpopular is is disgrace to our country. What about a declaration to give people wheelbarrows? Does that also substantiate? Also, we're um, going to wheelbarronomics. Let us deal with this devil me. first. <laughs> After that, then we can go to, for wheelbarronomics. So then we can talk about it. No problem. Yes. So you're saying that it is... Uh, illegal, it was an illegal meeting, yes. in your in, in own view. Actually, it was an illegal meeting. Actually, I don't know even how to describe it using moral words. Come on, Edgar. I just said it. <laughs> I just and, said and it we, we, we would like to know, to know your opinion about this story, about uh, the meeting that took place in the What do you think about it? The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Aguko at Y254 channel. Uh, as you give in your opinions uh, in regards to this, we shall sample your comments uh, as we continue with this morning conversation. Well, um, in regards to that, remember still, their opinion is their opinion. Oh, yeah. What is your opinion about it? All right. Let me quote the president. He said that we will see, we will still sit in the negotiation table to ensure that our region is not taken lightly. Oh, That's what he said. Oh, we will still sit in the negotiation table to ensure that our region is not taken lightly. And, and, and now how does this also reflect the president's commitment to his own region? Uh, well, well, you're talking about the Kikuyu region. Yes. We are talking about tribal connotations in a national TV. Really? Ramaguko. The this is the biggest descent of the president. He has gone the, to the lowest. We are talking about a region, a front door, a window and a bedroom door, a back door to a region. Oh, sorry? Oh, dear. But, but, but it, 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 may, it, no. it, it, it may not be so. Um, if, uh, do, do, do you agree with uh, what Edgar is saying? No, I don't agree because, uh -huh. you see, we must differentiate between the public between the private matters. You see, as much as you are in the public, you are the president of the Republic of Kenya, there are some matters that you have to make in your whole, own house. Mm -hmm. Because more especially when you see that your own house has been violated, you know, like there are men who go to your family and they try to, 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 to actually in, in boot some their own rules. So that when you are coming back to your house, your wife, your children, they reject you because mm -hmm. of what they have been told about you, against you. Now that's what the president was just trying to actually to tell them that what you have been told is not true this is the right way because he has realized that someone else is, is going to his bedroom mm -hmm. with that game with, with exactly um, uh, information then mm -hmm. was trying to bring them to understanding and to let them understand that this is the right way but politics is now coming in so you have to clean your own house first yeah, he was cleaning his own house because people have been saying that uh, uh, the deputy president has already taken over Mount Kenya. 
and they wanted to show the world that Mount Kenya still remains in my hands. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. You saw how many people were there. Oh, <laughs> at, the, uh, at the end of the day, yes. it is true that every leader comes from a region and it is from your own region is where you must build from. Even, even Honorable Raila Odinga builds from his region, just as Honorable William Samoy Ruto also builds from his region. That's why he was in Narok, because he is building from his own Narok region. Narok is Masailand. Well, William regardless, is that is the region that he Mama, is let, predominantly. Let's say this, eh? Uru Kenyatta is a Kikuyu. Mount Kenya, we have Meru, we have Embu, and all. And all. Are they all Kikuyu? In, in the national TV, we are discussing tribal... Uh, uh, tribal groupings and this is the lowest that we can think and the president is leading the country to a direction that should not go. Raila Odinga too has called people from that other side of the land. <laughs> Our leaders are just lost. The two of them are lost. Let's say the three of them. Why are we not talking about William Ruto? Because for the last one week, he has we also been in Rift Valley. We did not have Sagana anywhere in Rift Valley. But also in Rairo Dinga, we did not have any Sagana in uh, Rift Western. Actually, it was not even in Nyanza. No, it was in Western. And you should eh? read the eh? dailies eh? that Rairo Dinga has called on the leaders from Nyanza. But I don't think even the leaders from Nyanza should be called. Mm. To do what? <laughs> they have already passed the BBI. Over and out, done. But you look, look at this, eh? <laughs> look, look at this, eh? Like, uh, you know, William Ruto is saying that uh, Raida has failed the government. Tell me, and Raida was asking this simple question I'm not in the government. Mm -hmm. We are actually also outside the government. Mm. They are the two gentlemen, the deputy and the president, who are in the government. Now, how Raida comes in, you see, because if for the last one term, uh, the deputy president has been actually campaigning. Yes. And if right now is campaigning, can't he start doing what they promised the Wanainchi to do? So that Wanainchi will, will actually just uh, uh, look at what they have done for them. Because if the president fails, the deputy has already failed. And this is what the deputy president William Ruto said. I, support, I supported yes. President Uru Kenyatta in 2013 and 2017 without conditions. The head of state should not be pushed to backing my 2022 candidature. And uh, this is what he said. And, uh, and if, it, if it is in regards to the 2022 candidature that the deputy president is, uh, is, is trying to rally up his supporters for, the president has said that his term is not yet over. So the politics of 2022 as to who should back who, kama ni kumi, alisema kumi yake bado haijaisha, should that be uh, a discussion at the moment? Rama Buko, 20, uh, Sagana 3 was reduced to a discussion of the deputy. How, how, how will a meeting of that magnitude be reduced to uh, 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 getting people to toe the line, to get the people out of the deputy president? It is the lowest they stop. The president should steer away, should stay away from the politics of the deputy president once and for all. Mm. Why would we discuss the deputy president on a national podium like that from the president? It, is, it, wasn't, it wasn't right. And it wasn't in the right direction. Well, um, and Sagana should have been something else other than the deputy president. But he has to be, um, uh, uh, because he, he, he is the deputy president, a symbol of national unity. The president? Also part of the presidency. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was telling you. Yeah, so they have the to talk president about it. should steer away from such politics. Talking about his deputy. Talking about his deputy. And what about talking the about what, what about the deputy? Talking should, about him. Talking but, about him. You, you see, you see the comeback that he that he made. He made a very good comeback. He said, "The president owes no one, no explanation. But, 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 the president owes no one." for being elected as president mm -hmm. and we should not owe any community and uh isn't that addressing the president but in that in that point eh, if mm. you look at that was not coming from the heart because in his statement he said this if you look at well his statement there's something that which william ruto said if you mm -hmm. look at all he said you know if people promised 
that they will do this and they have decided not to do. So we don't. Mm. You see, we don't like uh, expecting to be supported. So if you look at him very well, still that statement was not from the heart. He was saying, if, <coughs> the president promised, but now if he has decided not to. You feel like he was not sincere yeah, in, the, he, in, in his he, he feels like he's not sincere. And actually what he's saying is kasasti. He's, he's not just uh, saying, uh, like, for, for instance, let me say, he's saying about the point that uh, why the president was uh, talking about with Muto. Actually, at a given time when you are defending your family and your children and you want to put them in order, what you do, you correct them from the mistake that which has happened. He was just trying to correct them from what William Ruto has been saying to the region. That's, what, that's how he came in, because uh, my colleague uh, Koske, my good friend, he has just said, why the president could talk about William Ruto? You know, William Ruto must have come in, because he was correcting a mistake that which happened there. Well, the, the, the president said this, and I quote, you claim you are the solution to the young people. I know you are looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. You claim you're the solution to the young people. Yes. You are giving them wheelbarrows. Please. Who told you that they need wheelbarrows? The they need jobs. They need giving. jobs. They need jobs. They want to be self-dependent. The, the, the tool that is giving the, the, the big people sleepless nights, the wheelbarrow. Now, the, where are the one million jobs? Edgar, I want on. to ask. Come on, come I on. I want to come ask. On. Where are the one million the, jobs? A president talking about one million jobs he has not created really and you are talking about wheelbarrows why do you talk about the president who has not created jobs yet you don't mention the deputy president who because, is part of the president because he's part of it you know if our father fails in you our family if our father fails in our family yeah. then the, the whole host, family has failed the host is on the side of <laughs> no, 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 no. Eh? no no come on i'm just trying to lay facts here edgar i'm trying to lay facts here because at the end of the day, yes. you've made s statements that lead towards one direction. Yes. And I'm asking, if a statement mm. touches uh, uh, one person in a family, what mm. about the other person? If a statement passes, uh, touches an office, why mention one individual who holds an office and not the other individual who also holds the same office? That's just a question. I'm not picking well, sides, oh, but okay. why mention mm. one You're and leave the other? Yourself. Uh, we, we have released you. <laughs> now, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, it's my question. Uh, now, yes. let, me, let, me, let me say this. Huh? Um, we were talking about the president. Mm -hmm. We have not gone to Wilbaronomics, which we will go. I am seeing you. You are taking mm. us there. That's where we are going. But what, mm. what, what, I'm, what I'm asking is, he is talking about, uh, you quoted him, and you talked about one million jobs. Mm -hmm. Talk of unemployment in the country. We have six million youths out there without jobs mm -hmm. ram mm. we have two billion shillings being stolen daily by his the person is supporting the country has nine trillion shillings in debt when you handed over this country to uru kenyatta it had one million one trillion shillings now you have nine trillion shillings he's talking about a Less. bunch of now let me hear you that let, let me come in i'm by saying so this. mad mm. yeah? you, you, i'm also actually so mad because you see these people look at how they were doing things from 2013 they were two even the ties were same color the suits and everything and now i'm, I'm not understanding how one can frame each other even the president himself he cannot frame the deputy and the deputy can both frame okay the frame comes that they have not parted ways but the president is blaming the deputy saying that you cannot trust the deputy because he cannot trust, because the deputy, he wants to put a prem on the president so that the rigors of the president can be toiled. That's what he's trying to do. For instance, uh, look at uh, the deputy. He's the one who stood and said, within six months, we'll be having these stadiums. Within this time, we'll be having laptops in the schools. Within this time, he was the one speaking, actually. If you look at very well, the president was very wise. He was behind. And that's why the president, he knew that if he comes in the way he came, the deputy could have not been supported him in 2017. That's why the deputy was very quiet. The president was very quiet until the first term ended. When he got to the second term and the deputy supported him, immediately he stood. You see? 
That is actually what was happening, and uh, the deputy should not blame the president that he has failed. They have failed both because they were working as a team, and if the 10 years tenor ends, it ends for both of them. And that is it. That is what they promised. The president promised the deputy that he will support him 10 years. Do you, I, feel, I, do, do you feel, in your own opinion, that, there is, that, that, that the actions that the president has taken to this point in time, to this very moment, are okay? Are there other actions that he should have taken? Or are there other actions that he should now take? Starting by the action that which the president has taken, mm. they are very okay because he wants to correct okay. things mm -hmm. so that things will go online. Is there something that should he, be? Is there something that he needs to to, to do? Uh, and now. it's something that he needs to do now. You know, people have been saying that is the deputy who is governing the government, not the president. So he has realized. He, I, let me say he, he, he slept. Now he has come back from. Who has slept? The president, because he left the the, the, the country with his deputy. Is the one who has been governing the government. So sleeping is the At act work. Of, of leaving the country <coughs> to the hands of the deputy. That's come why on, the country has... Uh, how, how? how? Uh, when a president leaves the country to do uh, uh, duties that are of national issue, values, national issues... And no, the reason why I say this... How, eh? does, that, how does that reflect to sleep? Look at this. Eh? A man is a king on his own kingdom. So in a time that there's a separation, that's the time the man should be stunned and build his own empire. Now, the president, they have been working as a team. Mm. Now the deputy take over. You know, there's some wives we have in homes who can overtake you because of maybe the popularity of the people, because of the friendship. Now they want to, to be the reading, the heads of the family. And that's what the deputy did. And the president has realized that it won't be. The, the president has stood up. Now that's why the deputy has, uh, has actually is like is, uh, quitting himself. Just like any man, when he realizes that, no, the wife is becoming the head of the family and he stands firm, what happens? The wife quits. That's what's happened. Um, uh, Edgar, I'm looking at uh, what took place a few, a few years back. And this video has been trending. You've blamed the president for the lack of jobs for the youth and the lack of... For not having a better one, lack of uh, infrastructure in certain areas of the country that those infrastructures were meant to be built. You've also mentioned that the president ought to be blamed for the, the debt that we have as a country. Um, now, going back to what you said about the, the jobs that are there. Wasn't it the deputy president who also also standing with the deputy with the, the with, with the president on the same plat or on the same platform on the same day, and they were sharing the same same moment, giving promises to Kenyans. And aren't these promises the same same promises that even Honorable Raila Amolo Dinga mentioned and said that those are things that he is not part of, and it is uh, it, it it is the the presidency that should be held accountable for that. Even so, I have to complete your statement. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me, let me say this. Let me quote the president in Sagana. Um, he said, there are people shouting at the rooftop. Because I tell you, we have done this. We have done that. We have done this. And we stop talking about my government achievements. <coughs> Now, Uhuru Kenyatta himself has told us that the buck stops with him and not the deputy. The deputy is the principal assistant of the president. And whatever even he was, whatever he was saying, he was saying it on behalf of the presidency. If the president says that this thing is not going to happen, that is not going to happen. We ultimately gave the president, Uru Kenyatta, leadership of this country. Mm. He negotiates on our behalf. When he goes to China to borrow one trillion shillings, he is doing it on behalf of me, on behalf of you, on behalf of the country. And you cannot tell him otherwise. When he takes Air Force One to go outside the country, you cannot tell him not to. You cannot stop him mid-air. 
Otherwise, you'll be shut down. The only way to deal with a president who is borrowing on a borrowing spree is to remove the president and nothing else. Because the back stops with him. Even the stadia, the ODM <coughs> people have been peddling. Oh, he's promising this, he's promising. Those are politics and those are propaganda. The back stops with the head of state. Thereby removing the deputy from accountability. Too much politics. Come on. Yeah. The deputy has to be held accountable. Well, they are both accountable because this is the deputy. This Good. is the way. They are both accountable, wait, right? Wait. This is the president and, and this the is deputy. The principal assistant to the president. Now, you've mentioned one word that is consistent in both statement president, yes. and they form part of the office of the president. Yes. Uh -huh. You see, in you cannot respect the president, you should respect the presidency. And when part of you, you are in the presidency, that means part of you, you are accountable for any mess that will be happening. So there should be not be a, a game of framing each other. <laughs> the president has failed this, the deputies have failed this. They should put, come and sit and see what uh, they have not done for uh, Wanainji they promised. I want us to move on to the next issue here about the BBI. We have a uh, honorable right. Uh, the president said this, and I quote that it has been uh, claimed that BBI is meant to help Ryla. What help does Ryla want? Someone who is almost 76 years old. You claim this document is for Ryla. Which word does he represent in Ruiru? If more money is allocated to Ruiru, to Ruiru, will it benefit Ryla or the people of Ruiru? End of quote. Now, th and, and that is what the president said. Oh, sorry, your reaction to that? The reaction to that, this PPI is not meant to benefit either Raida or the president because mm. the president is already retiring his term from the office. And he said very well, he has not told us that he's going to fight for any seat or, or neither needs the prime minister. If you look at the seat, people are saying that the president needs which is the prime minister, he does no power. So how can you become from the president to the prime minister? And number two, neither or either the PPI pass or not, Raila would stand as a president. What do you think about this narrative that the BBI is for Raila? So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm coming in to say that the PPI does not support Raila in any way. Because whether it passes or not, Raila will stand as a president if he will. And if he will not, he will not. How Who is it going to support him? Who does the BBI support? The PPI is meant to support the common monarchy. Koske. It's even hard to support the BBI. <laughs> <laughs> what is <using> one statement? <laughs> no, for, it's, it's hard look, for you. Look, 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 Ram. We have all read the BBI. Yes. Or maybe we haven't. The ones that we have seen around, going around, we have read them. Mm -hmm. BBI is a document. But mm -hmm. what the whole situation is doing, instead of building bridges, it is breaking bridges. How can you build a bridge to the to Raila Odinga when there is a bridge that has to be built to your deputy? BBI is a document polarizing the country. How, Even how, before how, we go, let to, me hold you there. How yes. does how does this build a bridge to Raila Odinga and not the deputy president? In what sense? Look at how they are fighting, man. Okay, let oh, me. Wait. Look at how they are fighting. <laughs> Look at how the deputy and the president are fighting. Look at the exchange of words. If we are to build bridges across the country, let us be sincere and build bridges across the country. BBA is a document, but the word in itself is so divisive. Let, me, divisive. let me come in by saying this. Eh? Mm. How the PPI is actually uh, helping the common Mwanainchi, look at the time of uh, Rairo Dinga and the president, or all the government, that's the deputy and the president, when the opposition was there. Nothing could have gone home. Business was brought down. There was fighting. There was fire every day. But now, due to PPI, because it came to build bridges, at least the, 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 the country is now 
is a, it has cooled down. Mm. The country is at mm. peace. Mm. Yeah, you know, the, 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 the deputy president, he has forgotten that he's in the government. He has gone already to opposition. That's what he's doing. Because this PPI, when it came, if the deputy could have remained with the president and they come up together, there could be no any, any fight. Uh, let, me, Ramaguko, let me just, before you just read that, mm. let me ask yes. Osoro and the crew. Mm -hmm. Which crew? Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Solving violence in the country. Let me also answer that directly. How many people, how many votes did the leader got in election? How many millions of votes? No, I, 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 okay. I'm not aware of that. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, it was four point something, the other one maybe five. The PPI, the four point something people who were fighting, who were fighting each other, businesses, maybe in Kisuma, now you can do business anywhere. Just know that Raira is the nation. Raira is the country. Because of BPI? Because of the people who are behind, because of PPI, that's why you see they're quiet. So it has solved violence? It has solved. You can do business in Kisumu, in central Kenya, in Mombasa. Because if there is nothing on the table for them, mm. they go for violence. They have mastered the art of Machozi Monday, Amatiagas Monday, sitting on the streets. They know what violence can be, and that is what they because have mastered in this At the end of the day, let me, let, what let, me, they needed is let me hold you there. When we have uh, um, uh, uh, people like the president and the, de uh, and the former prime minister, Raila Odinga, shaking hands, that handshake brought peace. It is a fact. That's that a fact. Brought peace. That. that is a fact. <laughs> the document doesn't. It was the document brought that handshake. All the, doc, all the, uh, the, uh, the document came the from the handshake. Does. Mm. The truth does. The truth brought peace. Yes. And what is this truth? The handshake. The handshake. I told you. Thank you. I got 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 this discussion to close there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, your, your producer can tell. <laughs> <laughs> when we, uh, let's let's wind up with this. The, um, on uh, we have the uh, uh, MCAs that uh, are supposed to to check this document. Now it has gone to the counties. Uh, what is your expectation about the outcome? Uh, let me start with you, Doctor Osoro. The okay. outcome of this, of course, the MCS will pass the document mm -hmm. because, uh, one, the document has given that 5% to the counties and from that, the, uh, the also the counties, they have a, a cake from it. And what the MCS are doing is to get a cake, for example, for parcels, for roads, construction, what, uh, all those, you see. And actually, they have gotten it. So how can you expect to oppose? Now you have been given an appointment of a certain position and then you are opposing it. You cannot. Okay. That's why the president realized that if they take to common Mwanainji, it may be having a difficult time because of the opposition from the deputy president mm. and these Gakuns. Now he has decided they pass it through the counties because those are the guys who are representing the common Mwanainji. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, let me come to you, uh, Edgar, Ed, 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 your expectation on the DPI in the counties. When something is good enough. What I can tell the MCS is, eat the money, and uh, if you want to pass the document, you can pass the document. Um, we are about to see whether the Mount Kenya has responded to Sagana 3. But what I'm sure is that Nyanza will respond because it is Baba's tough. But I'm yet to see whether Sagana. Those are 10 counties. Uh, from the Kikuyu region, five counties from down there, we are looking for, for a threshold of 24 counties to pass this. Maybe they will, maybe they will not. But the final person is Monanchi. The final person is Monanchi. Right now, the national government has not given out 10 billion shillings to the counties. And that is only 15%. You are talking about 35% national government to give the counties unrealistic. The new government to come in 2022, whether it's Raila's or it's Kuru Okot's 
Oro Ruto. Oro <laughs> Ruto. Mention him. It irritates me. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it is anyone in government should <laughs> declare that 35% is not Let me finish up with uh, a quote by Kiamba Member of Parliament, Paul Koinange, who, um, who said this, and I quote, people wanted to know what went wrong between him, that's the president, and the DP. And he opened up, and that it was about trust, or trust and graft in the government. That is according to the Member of Parliament, Honorable Paul Koinange. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me this morning. I appreciate your presence. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ram. Uh, Thank you, Ram. And please call us again. We are not mismakers. <laughs> I, I, I love the discussion. Right. Thank Full you. of content. Thank you. And it was something that uh, I feel we need to have. Sober discussions geared towards changing the nation for the better. All right, thank you very much. Even everyone who has been watching, tuned in from wherever you are all across the world. Remember, we are live on our website, www.y254.co.ke. From any part that you're watching us from, we appreciate your presence.